Hi guys, I'm Shreya and this is Decoding Code. This video uh, is just going to kind of be about object-oriented programming and then towards the end maybe I'll get into inheritance and yeah, this is going to be kind of like part one of a series which is going to be on object-oriented programming and the four kind of concepts or pillars in object-oriented programming and those four pillars are inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, and encapsulation. And today we're just going to be talking about inheritance and a sort of overview of object-oriented programming. So let's get into it. So object-oriented programming is basically the concept that there's there are objects with attributes and functions and there are classes which are like blueprints or kind of designs for that object. Classes can house kind of the code for your functions and it's the place where you kind of say the attributes that the objects will have. So in the class, you can say that there's an attribute or a variable called color and then in one of the objects, you can say that the color is blue and something like that. So in the class, it's kind of like a design, and then in the object, using that design to kind of make something and initialize something, make it into existence. So you see where I'm going here? So there's the class, and it's basically telling what's going to be in the object and uh, what the object can do, and then the object can put kind of the attributes and also use those functions that were made in the class. What would happen if you weren't using object-oriented programming is that like you could use a function in like your top and then you might need to use that same function somewhere later in your code so you would have to like put that in again and copy paste or whatever you want to do and then keep doing that because you don't have objects and you can't reuse that function from your class because there is no class or object you see so you would have to like copy paste and then there if there are bugs then you would need to go through every instance and in where you put that function and then you would need to kind of try and fix it like that and um you would have a bunch of lines and it would not be structural it would not be no okay so this is why we use object oriented programming because it has structure it's nice and clean and you can easily read and use it. That is basically the concept of object-oriented programming. And now let's get into inheritance. So we talked about classes kind of being like blueprints. Inheritance is basically a parent-child relationship between these blueprints, okay? So between these blueprints, there can be parent-child parent -child relationships. If there's one blueprint and it has, okay, metaphorically, if there's a blueprint and it has like three rooms and a roof and a garden, and then you want a child relationship. So this child is going to inherit, so this child blueprint is going to inherit these three rooms and the garden from the parent, but it's also going to add another room and a pool. So this is a completely different house, house, and this is going to have its own characteristics and it's going to be its own blueprint, but the parent also exists. So we're not just modifying the parent, but we're also having this child to come from it and kind of inherit the stuff from it and then also add its own stuff and maybe even change some of the stuff from the parent. Okay, so we're going to look at examples to really ingrain that into your brain. Sorry, that was violent. Okay, um, so we have this public class river okay first let's go over to the class water so this water has cups color quality um and we have these getters and setters um and we have kind of okay so now we have these kind of methods beautiful beautiful and there's gallons and there's color interpret and there's quality rating so this is going to rate the quality of the water, this is going to give you how much it is in gallons, and this is going to uh, interpret, I think, how polluted it is based on the color. So there are these three functions, and there are these three attributes, 
I'm thinking. So now we go over to river. Now river extends water, so it's gonna already know these three functions and three attributes without even needing to do anything. So now what I'm doing is adding variable speed and I'm actually going to modify or override this um, method, quality rating, and I'm going to add some new kind of it's river now, not just water. So I'm adding more stuff to that. Stuff. <laughs> uh, and then I'm also adding this white water kind of warning method. So now, okay, so now river has four attributes, those three attributes or variables from water and that one speed attribute. And it also has four functions, three from the other one, one that it modified, and one more that's a whitewater warning. So these are two classes and two kind of blueprints, but they both, um, so river and water have a parent-child relationship. River builds on what it knows or inherits from water, and therefore it has its own stuff and it's building on that. See? We get it, kind of, right? Okay. If you said no, I'm so sorry. But, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> now, I think, here. So, I've made sure, see, that River can have the attributes, and it can do the same things that Water can do, and also Water can do what it wants to do, and River can do what it wants to do as well. Yay. Yay. And that's inheritance, people. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you got inheritance from that. Hopefully I wasn't too violent. <laughs> um, and I hope you liked it. If you did like, if you didn't dislike, that's okay too. Um, and subscribe if you want more content. If you want to keep uh, watching this series, this will be my next three, I think, uploads. So if you want to watch this entire series or yeah, whatever that is, um, you can continue to watch and subscribe and turn on the notifications to be notified and um, comment down below any feedback or anything that you guys have for me. And I will see you guys again uh, next time. So I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.